prophecy. I pray in America in Saturday night, in Sunday night, I see shooting. I pray in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now to deadly gun violence in the city overnight. Shots fired inside a Brooklyn building striking seven people, one of them fatally. CBS News' John Diaz joins us live from the scene in bed with more this morning. John? Yeah, good morning, Chris. Good morning, Marion. Police tell us that they received numerous 911 calls overnight about the shooting and the person who died here in this case. She was only 20 years old. Police believe this all went down at a Sweet 16 after party. Go ahead now, though, and take a look here at this video. This is what the scene looks like out here this morning. A crime scene unit still out here and actively investigating this entire thing. Now, just after 11 o'clock last night, police say that a group of teenagers and young adults were having a party inside an apartment here at 15 all Avenue in Bedside, Brooklyn. When an unknown man entered the building and started shooting in the lobby, bullets went through the apartment walls and into the apartment and struck the seven people. According to the NYPD, a 20 year old girl died. Uh, six others were also shot. Four young men and four young women, but are expected to be okay. They're between the ages of just 14 years old and 20 years old. Now, please say this was at an after party of a Sweet 16 that was broken up earlier in the night in East New York and at that party a 17 year old was shot and it's believed that this may have been a retaliation of that shooting. Now that teenager is expected to survive. Now shooting incidents across the city are up almost 95% year to date. It was a fight but shots rang out. It was like 12, 13 shots. The sad part about it is that it's in the building. If you start shooting in the building where people will live at it changes things. And any shooting is, is, is troubling and, and, and disturbing. This incident, we, we have a 20-year-old, a, a female who is deceased. It's horrible. Now, police do believe that there was more than one shooter involved in this case, since it does appear that at least two guns were used. Now, there's been no arrest made here in this case, but again, investigators, they're still looking to all of this. So keep it here with Channel 2. We're going to continue to keep you updated. But for now, we are live this morning from Bedside, Brooklyn. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. Okay, John, thanks.